today's video we are going to be doing the review on the tandemized Walther P22. Before we get started I'm going to show you that this gun is clear no mag nothing in the chamber. Now we are going to have to put the mag in this gun for the video so I'm going to show you that this mag is also empty so we are safe to handle the Walther P22. Now, a little backstory on this Walther P22. I have had this gun for years. In fact, it's one of the first few handguns that I bought. Now, I do believe this is like a Gen 1. I know they have had some updated versions of this gun come out. In fact, I think now it's called the P22Q, something like that. The problem with this gun is it is very finicky on ammo. Now this gun has pretty much sat in my safe for years and that is because I got the Taurus TX-22 competition and yes this gun is clear, no mag, nothing in the chamber and this gun will run pretty much any kind of ammo you put in it. Now the reason we've got this back out on the channel today is because Tandem Cross came out with a bunch of upgrade parts for this P-22. Now this has the Wingman plus 5 mag extensions on it, which takes these from 10 rounds to 15 rounds. Kind of. I've got one mag that will hold 15 rounds, and I've got one that will only hold 14 rounds. So I'm going to have to take these mags back apart and see what's going on with that. Now they also came out with the Victory Trigger, and we'll get into that here later in the video. They also came out with the Sentinel captured guide rod and spring, the Eagle Talon extractor, and the fire starter firing pin. And we put all those parts in this P-22. Now my goal of installing all these parts is to get this P-22 to run more reliably, especially with some of the cheaper bulk ammos. Now I want to dive in to all the ammo we're going to be using in this video. We're going to start off with the Aguila Super Extra Hollow Points. This is a 38 grain bullet. You're actually not even going to see me shooting this ammo in this video because it would not run at all. So we were not off to a very good start. We are also going to be testing out some Federal Auto Match. This is some really cheap bulk ammo that a lot of people like to use. We're also going to be running Remington Golden Bullets. We have some Arms Core. We also have CCI Blazer. Now this is one of my favorite ammos and it runs 100% reliably in my TX-22 competition. We are also going to test out some CCI Standard Velocity and we're also going to try out the Winchester Bulk 222 White Box, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into the review. All right, we got 15 rounds of CCI Blazer loaded up. Let's see if these will all run reliably. Very last round, we had a failure to feed. Let's see if the standard velocity will run reliably. Nope.
getting failure to feeds. All right, this is not going well at all. Now this gun's clear, the mag's clear, it is safe to handle. Well obviously we are not off to a good start with the P22. But what I do want to talk about is the trigger in this. Now I did put a video out before this where we went over all the factory parts and the tandem cross parts and the differences between the two. I could not show you the install obviously due to YouTube policy. But the trigger on this was a game changer. So we'll go into single action mode here, but there's very little take up. That's it right there. And you've got a really nice clean break and it's actually got a pretty decent reset right there. It's very audible. And then you got that nice clean break. So there's no creep through a wall or anything like that. Uh, the double action is not too bad. Still a little heavy, but better than the factory trigger. The other thing that I really like about this trigger now is it is a flat face trigger. And then you've got just this little hook down here at the end. One other thing that was pretty awesome, we did lose a whole pound off the trigger pull weight. And we did use the Wheeler gauge on that. So if you're interested in all that stuff, you can go back and watch that video. I will link it in the description below. All right, I got the other mag. This time we got 15 rounds of the arms core loaded up. Let's see how this goes. All right, it ran all the arms core great. Um, I am loving this trigger. All right, we're gonna stick with the mag that holds 15 rounds. This time we've got Remington Golden Bullets loaded up. We're just gonna shoot steel this time. All right, ran all the Remington Golden Bullets. That's kind of shocking. I uh, didn't honestly think it was gonna run those. All right, this time we got 15 rounds of the Winchester White Box or the Bulk 222, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if it can cycle these. Nope. Failure to feed. Stove pipe. <laughs> All right. Now, another stove pipe. Another stove pipe. All right, we're calling this one. All right, this time we've got a full mag of Federal Auto Match. I don't have much faith in this, but let's see what happens. Nope. Stove pipe. Fair to feed. Fair to feed. Fair to feed. Stove pipe. Fair to feed. And a stove pipe. and a stove pipe on the last round. All right, out of all the ammo we brought out, we only had two that ran flawless, the arms core and the Remington Golden Bullets. Got a full mag of arms core again. Let's see if this was a fluke. Ran all the arms core again. So I guess that's a good thing because I can always get arms core around here.
All right, let's try the Remington Golden Bullets again. All right, ran them all. The Remington Golden Bullets are two for two. All right, this gun is clear. The mag is clear. We are safe to handle this gun. My final thoughts on the tandemized Walther P22. That did not go the way I wanted it to. Out of all that ammo that we took out, we only had two brands that ran flawless. That was the Arms Corps, and I still can't believe that the Remington Golden Bullets ran as good as they did. Now, this is not a total failure because I absolutely love the new trigger, so much better than the factory one. Uh, I do like having the extra capacity with the Wingman mag extensions, even though one of them is only letting me put 14 rounds in it. That could be something I did wrong putting them together. There are some spacers and things in there that you can install, so we'll go back to the drawing board on that. The other awesome thing is the captured guide rod and spring. If you have the Walther P22 with the factory guide rod and spring, it's a pain in the ass putting the gun back together. So that captured guide rod and spring makes things so much better. As far as the extractor goes and the firing pin, I don't know how well it's working. Um, like I said, I had a lot of issues with the cheap bulk ammo before I did all of this to the P-22. Now we're not done doing videos. We are gonna take it back out for a third video and we'll run some of the better ammo like CCI mini mags, uh, some of the higher velocity stuff. We'll try Federal Punch. I've got tons of different brands of 22 ammo. So we'll take it back out. We'll run some of the higher end stuff and we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, I had a great time making the video and like I said, I'm still happy with all the upgrades. Uh, the trigger was definitely worth it. So if you do have a Walther P22, I don't know if I would suggest that you upgrade the firing pin and the extractor and all that, but I would definitely get the mag extensions and you definitely need to get the trigger. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.